Hello everybody, we're the Love of Mezcal. Today we're going to be reviewing Macurichos uh, Pechuga con Conejo. So this is made with espadín and this is an ancestral mezcal. It was ground with a tajona and it was distilled in clay pots. The ABV is 48.2. The Maestro Mezcalero is Gonzalo Martinez Cernas and it is made in Santiago Matatlán, Oaxaca. Something that's really interesting about the label on the bottle, it not only has the date is made November 2018, but it also has some tasty notes, which I don't think I've seen on other no. labels. It says fruity and earthy, so it's also uh, has notes on here of natural wild yeast, clay pots, it's distilled twice. It's uh, using spring water and tails, it looks like, for the adjustment. The adjustment. We have bottle 314 out of 753. That's a small batch. All right, well, we've had um, other expressions from this brand before. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've had this one? So we had this one at a bar, but it was a while back. Um, they also make that we had a one that was made with cacao, and then the third one was espadín, and then a couple of Karwinskis. I don't remember what it was. But I know you were. Very I really happy enjoyed with that, that one. one. Yeah. So we're this is our bottle of the conejo. Like I said, we had it before, but um, let's come take a sip with us. Yeah, I've got a tiny little perla that's floating around. I have one too. I don't know which one's. Mine's like oh, really, yours little. mine's okay. really tiny. Yeah, mine's a little bigger than it. Okay. Ooh, mm. that smells sweet. I get banana. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing, like fresh banana. Now it's changing a little. It's still sweet, but I'm getting a little citrus note. Um, but I smell, I'm smelling like cut um, apple, like red delicious apples. Okay. Is it getting sharper for you? A little bit. It's this is um I'd say this is one of the few mezcales that we've smelled that I'm getting fresh fruit, but I'm not getting uh, overwhelming uh citrus. Like with the uh Buffalo Pechuga, it was like super that was a citrus, citrus bomb. bomb. This is more like Banana and apples. I'm starting to get little, like regular flavor bubble gum. Subtly, it's not super strong. This smells more um, meaty uh, in my hands. That I'm not getting so sweet. I'm sweet. getting, I'm getting firewood, like mm -hmm. almost coal, like burnt firewood. Like almost like a, like where it's already lit. Hmm. Typically when I get smell, it's like, you know, dry wood. But this is, like it, it smells like it was already, like a campfire. Okay, I'm ready to taste it. I'm, so I'm like, <laughs> hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Oh, I'm getting pineapple. I don't know what I'm getting. But then it got sharp at the end, and it's dry, but it's, there's not a lot of finish to it. No. No, it's not. You're getting pineapple? I'm getting pineapple. Okay. I'm not, <laughs> but okay. It's not as fruity for me on my palate. For me, it, it's very, it, it says fruity and earthy. For my taste, I'm getting more earthy. Well, I guess uh, fruity and earthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, split it right down the middle. Yeah. I was expecting more sweetness on my palate. Um, it's very earthy for me. So it's kind of sharp. I'm not gonna lie. But then it kind of like initially it's sharp, and then it kind of mellows out to like a pineapple, where it's like borderline citrus. I don't know. It's like I don't know. Pineapple isn't citrus. 
But it's like borders and like that citrusy note that pineapple kind of hits. That sharpness that yeah. pineapple has. Yeah. 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 Huh. This one's is pretty interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. It's warming up my chest now as it's going down. For me, it's all staying in my mouth. I'm not tasting it in my throat or my chest. Hmm. No, I'm feeling it down here. My throat and it's like sitting in my chest. Hmm. So... We've had rabbit before. Mm -hmm. um, what restaurant was that at? Oh, shit. Was it here? It or was it? here in Vegas, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was at the Wynn or... It was like rabbit loin, right? Yeah. I felt, really, I felt really bad at first, but then as I was eating it, it was very tender and it was so good. And I was like, oh, poor little rabbits. I kind of feel sorry for you, but you guys are really good. This is this is really good. I'm getting banana peel on the nose. Mmm. Okay. Like the, the inside of the peel is what I'm getting. Mmm, but it's getting richer for me now. Mm-hmm. And the taste? Yeah. I'm not getting any, like, meaniness. But maybe you're getting the riches. I haven't gotten it yet. This is definitely more earthy for me. Uh, as far for my palate for taste, I'm not getting very a lot of fruit. Um, yeah, the pineapple is going away. It's I'm getting like cit not citrus like sharper notes, but I don't know what it is. It's just I know it's not citrus and the pineapple like that sweetness of the pineapple is gone, almost woody like now. And just like what we were um, talking about earlier is that. It's not very um, common to find an, an ancestral pechuga here in the States for purchase. So yeah. if you come across this, um, I highly recommend it Definitely. for my palate. Um, I'm really happy that we have this. Yeah. Yeah, that one that you had, the Ensemble. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, we're going to track it down and see if we can buy a bottle of it. Where did we get this one? Oh, we bought this when we were in LA. Yeah, we got this at Ramirez Beverage and uh, East LA. Boyle Heights. Boyle Heights. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. Um, probably buy it online if you look at certain spots. It's in Nebraska too, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have our friend in Nebraska and uh, sent us a picture and they had this one over there, so. Yeah, so if you come across this, Highly recommend. Well, good job, Gonzalo. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything else to add. No. Thanks for taking a sip with us. Salucita. Mm.